Hello everyone and welcome to today's speed build and I know it's been quite a while since I was here with my last speed build and I do apologize for that. I did have plans to do a Halloween build and I was working on the house and I was actually, I don't know if I was almost finished with the house or if I was almost finished with the speed build. I had some other plans that popped up and uh, some personal things that had popped up and uh, I was unable to finish it and by the time that I was almost finished with it I think I was just needing my voiceover finished. It was already like November. I might still upload that house as just like a haunted witch house and not a Halloween house but I decided to go ahead and start on my um save file that I decided to do. So this is the first build for the save file and we are building in Will Creek. This isn't the neighborhood that the pancakes live in. This is the neighborhood that's below theirs. I don't remember the name of it, but right now in this save file, they are going to be a little trailer park. So this is trailer park uh, trailer apartment A and the address is 1845 Parkway Ridge apartment A. So there will be apartment A, apartment B, apartment C, apartment D, and apartment E all in that little area for this like a little neighborhood. So the family that lives in this trailer is a single mother and she has a toddler boy Sorry about that. I uh, had to get my notes that I got for the uh, the save file that I have here because, you know, I just forget sometimes and I mean, there's no shame in that. It, it happens, right? Whoops, that uh, made a loud noise when it fell. For this save file, the uh, I was going to name it like the single mom trailer household because I didn't really know what other name for it. So that might still be it, or it might be different by the time that I get this uploaded to YouTube from the time that I'm doing this voiceover right now. The address is 1845 Parkway, Parkway Ridge, Apartment A, and there's a female sim. She is a young adult. Aaliyah Goldman is her name. Her children is Brantley Goldman, and he is a toddler. Uh, her traits is materialistic. She's neat, evil. And her bonus is d d d d oh my freaking lord my mouth is not working i'm not even going to attempt it like i think you guys get the gist of it and uh i'm giving myself just more anxiety trying to like pronounce it because my mouth doesn't want to work her skills is archaeology baking charisma cooking fishing fitness gardening gourmet cooking logic mischief mixology parenting singing and writing she does have a spouse now she's not married so it's not like a spouse as in her husband but she does have a boyfriend that she is currently seeing and his name is Jalen Foreman now Jalen Foreman he is a teacher at uh the high school here in the uh Breastshire? No, that's the university. Maybe he's the professor. But I know that he's in the school administration and uh, he is recently divorced. Now, I don't want to get too much into that story just yet because he is the next house that I do for the save file because he moves in next door to Aaliyah and I don't know if I want to make their story where they meet when they move into the trailer park or if I do their story where um, Aaliyah because she's a young adult and Jalen he is an adult almost an elder and I was thinking maybe that since he was a teacher that maybe he had an affair with his wife with Aaliyah when she was a student in high school the toddler being maybe his kid 
Uh, I haven't really decided yet. Maybe we will go with some drama? Mia, yeah, I think that would be pretty interesting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below because I would love to hear your opinions. Where I can go with this save file because I know I've seen a lot of people do their save files before and I don't really recall any of them doing uh, story interactions within The Sims. So I was thinking for my save file to make them like each world and like each town would be how it would be in real life. You know your neighbors, you know people that's in your town, you have friends. There's always like a storyline in between like people who's in town, like drama and gossip and stuff like that. So with the single, like she's not really just a single mom since she's with Jalen and I if Jalen's going to be the uh, toddler's father, then she's not really single then now, is she? No, he just moved into the trailer park and the trailer not next to her. He's not going to live in apartment B, but he's going to live in apartment C. So after I do that, I'm going to jump from this one and go to the next one. He's going to live in that one and I'm actually, I'm almost finished building that house and once I get that house finished I'll be working on the next house which I might end up doing as Jalen's ex-wife. Now uh, off topic just for a second with the uh, save file to uh, focus a little bit here on the landscaping that I'm doing here. I love this walkway that I do. This, like my fiance said, it will be my signature build for like every house that I do because I'm pretty sure since uh, I'm going to do this trailer park and it's going to be like owned by the same person, even though you can't really have apartments yet in The Sims, just imagination, make it seem like it's the apartment. And they'll have like similar landscaping to each different trailer unit. So I was having this walkway for like almost every build that I do and I love it. It took me a while though, but I'm getting a little bit faster at placing these and I don't skip so much through the video as if I would in the past. So I just figured I would speed it up like super fast. So you guys can see how it's actually done from, but here you can see I go in and I fill it up in terrain paint and I do the outside parts of it and I just go through and I erase it and fine line it so it looks neat like that. But I really love it. It's really cute and this will probably end up being, like my fiance has said, my signature part for each of my build. And as I was doing this, I was actually actually having thoughts because I was filling up most of the yard because I didn't really know what to do with it. I put in an in-ground pool here and but I was filling it up and there's not a lot of grass space but I was just thinking like how cool would it be if there was a sims pack where you could mow your lawn and if you don't mow your lawn for like an extended period of time like how bust the dust doesn't work like how I mean it probably doesn't work none of the game packs really do but um like vacuum your house often or anything you get like the dust things that build up and you get like little dust bunnies and dust mites I think I haven't really played with it that would be awesome like if you don't if your sim doesn't mow their yard your grass grows and like you get like lawn bugs or like lawn snakes or some kind of lawn creature that comes out like if you don't mow your lawn i think that would be so cool to have in the game now i know when I had posted it around my TikTok and stuff, uh, people are like, oh, there's a mod for it, that and this, which I will eventually download and I will do a tutorial and I will do a review on that. So if anyone's interested, I will be having that here in the near future. I don't always want to have to depend on a mod because like I need a new processor for my computer so like my computer can't really run that many mods like it used to because it's so old I need a new one but it would be awesome if it was this game pack like I think that would be something that would be cool but I don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments below anyways uh back to the information here on the uh save file uh with Aaliyah she is um Oh, she also works as a mixologist. 
from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Sunday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, making 35 simoleons an hour. Now, her aspiration, I don't have it wrote down, which I honestly thought that I did, which I uh, do apologize. I will have it appear on the screen so you guys will know what it is once I get it up here on the screen. I do apologize for that. Her siblings are blank because I was thinking that I will incorporate her family, like her parents, and maybe she'll have a sister and maybe she'll have a younger brother who is a teenager since she's a young adult. I haven't gotten that far yet. I'm slowly working in on building this family tree. Now I will have to go in and I will have to use some mods to probably set relations and things like that because I'm not doing it within like a story progression whatever. I'm just placing them and setting their stories and everything like that so I have to use some mods. But I will have this save file once I have it finished available for you guys to download and it will be CC and mods free. So anybody who wants to download it will be able to download it. I do have all the packs so please keep that in mind. Yeah, I really hope that you guys will enjoy this story for my save file and I can't wait to go on this jury journey. <laughs> jury. Oh my gosh, are we going to trial? I'm so glad to go into this journey with you guys and it's going to be so much fun and I can't wait. And here we are working on the toddler room. His name is a Brantley Goldman. His parents is Aaliyah of course and his dad will probably end up being Jolyn Freeman which or I mean Jalen I'm sorry. As of right now, I don't have him having uh, Jalen's last name. He does, however, only have his mother's last name. So I'll probably just end up keeping it like that. I don't know though. Maybe just for it to be some weird drama. Like he knew that she was pregnant and like he was there for when uh, Brantley was born. And then that's why he moved into the trailer next to her instead of moving in with her because he didn't want his ex-wife to get mad. I know uh, Jalen, he will have his daughter with him, so she will be living in the trailer. Now, I was thinking of maybe having his ex-wife have the other kids. So like maybe he has a couple kids with uh, his ex-wife and he has his daughter because she wanted to go stay with him and his ex-wife has her other kids, his other kids, you know, whatever. So, but he didn't move in with uh, his girlfriend, the single mom, or I mean, not the single mom, Malia. I really need to change the name to that. So I'll probably change it to something else. I don't know though. Her storyline was through the creative story in The Sims. So it was automatically generated. So I couldn't really change her aspiration or her um, career or anything like that. But I did go ahead and change it because she was in the criminal career. I didn't really want that for her. So I changed her career to the mixologist. So she's a bartender and she's in a relationship with um, somebody who works at the Board of Education uh, administration. I haven't really... Maybe I'll finish building my high school that I was building or maybe I'll just make a new school and maybe that would be the school that he would work at. Maybe I will make the bar that Jalen will... Uh, Jalen. <laughs> that Aaliyah will work at. Uh, I don't know yet. I have so many ideas that I want to do for this site file but this is what I have so far and it's what I've been working on and I'm really hoping that you guys enjoy it and I'm really hoping that you guys will be here with me for the long run. Now I do have um I I don't know though it's just I have so many other ideas for videos that I want to do as well and there's a uh, shell challenge that I've been wanting to do it also but i just i don't know uh when all i will be doing that but anyways right now we are working on Aaliyah's room 
a notebook just fell, so I'm sorry if you guys heard that, but that kind of like also literally scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> this is Aaliyah's room that we are working on, and I tried to go, I don't know, kind of like a wallpaper kind of theme. I don't know, since it's like an apartment trailer type thing, I just think that maybe they're not too modern on their wallpaper and stuff, and it's kind of like an older style trailer and it's got that older style wallpaper in it. I kind of just place objects that were kind of like the same color of the green thing. I've never really done a green room before so like but I like it. It, it looks really good and I'm kind of like panicking right now and I don't know what to say so I'm going to go smoke so give me one second. Much better. Much better. I do apologize if my voice sounds like a little cutting in and out or like a little raspy you know whatever i did just take a ball in the head so yeah we are working on Aaliyah's room and i went in and i placed the objects and everything and i know i place the objects like on the desk there and then i'll move the desk and then i'll replace the objects and stuff like that and then there's sometimes i've been trying to get objects on shelves and stuff and it's not the right height when I go to raise it up sometimes so I did have the OMSP shelf downloaded before and then I deleted it and then I finally just now reinstalled it so my next build I used it in it but I didn't use it in this one. In the bathroom here I honestly didn't know what colors I wanted to do for it or like what I wanted to use. I just know that I wanted the mom and the kid to have like different color towels there up beside the bathtub because I did a bathtub and a shower because this bathroom is big enough and I thought it looked really good. So I skipped through a lot of me changing colors because I don't know how many times I changed the damn colors of every freaking object in this room. It was more than just what you saw there with the things that I did change a few times because I'm sure I sat there for probably 20-30 minutes undecisive on what colors to use for the bathroom because I didn't want to go with a bland color theme that I normally go with. I wanted to kind of like go with something different. So I don't know if this is the final theme color I go for. I think it might be like the bru- the- the bruise! The bruise! The bruise of the- <laughs> the browns! Oh my god. The blues and the brown colors. I- I think those are the colors I eventually go with and even now looking at it I kind of don't like it and kind of think that I should have went with something else but I really didn't know what to go with. Do you guys ever get into like those uh what are they called like builder block moments where you don't know what to build and if I don't know. If I'm working on a build for an extended period of time, then I will stop my build, like save it, and I'll go do something else and then I'll come back to it later and I'll finish because at the time that I don't know what to do, I'm like burnt out and don't have any ideas. So then I just uh, leave and I come back and then I can like finish what I couldn't finish earlier because I have all these new ideas and I'm just not sitting and staring at the same screen forever. I don't know. That's me. But uh, here we are working on the kitchen and I like the little half room area and I do add a, a little uh, column there at the end of that little half wall to make it seem like it's a hole in the wall which I think it's really cute. My mom actually has that in her living room and I don't know I kind of try to incorporate it in a lot of my builds just because that's something that I'm familiar with which I am also I might try to build a house that looks like the house that I grew up in but the problem with that is is that half of my mom's basement is in a hillside but the other half of the basement you can see so I don't really know how to do the manipulation of the terrain that well yet so maybe once I get some more practice I know I've been building for a while but I haven't really built with terrain that much just here and there seldomly because I don't know I build on flat level a lot but this is the kitchen and I think the kitchen turned out really well and I think it's really cute and I really love this little towels that I do that was for the bathrooms that I sized down because I think they look so cute and I just add a couple of decorations here to place 
face up on the wall so it makes it look like it's a lived in. And I add lights above the sink and the stove there just because, I don't know, we have them in real life so why not have them in The Sims? I placed a high chair there for the toddler so the toddler can sit in the high chair and yes, the shelves above the TV in the living room are shelves that go into the kitchen. I thought it looked pretty good up there because I don't know, I felt like maybe that's something that would be more realistic to have on above a TV would be like shelves and like pictures and stuff like that. You don't really have many options of that in The Sims, which I don't know what all that they added in the new packs, um, the, the new kits that was just released. I haven't really looked at all the items since I got it. At the time I was doing this build, those packs weren't out yet. So I wasn't going to go in and like change anything or anything like that. And here we are working on the living room, which this is getting close to the end of the video. And that basket there, I don't know how many times that I moved it. I moved it around so much and I know that I wanted to use it, but at the time I didn't know where to put it. So I just kept moving it around the room. And here I didn't really know what's a place in the living room. And I, like I said earlier, like I would usually stop building if I didn't know what to do. So this is the last little part of the build and I didn't want to just stop and then like go another day with building. I wanted to finish my building so I can start editing my video the next day. And so I kind of just went with some things. I threw in a little accent table there in the hallway to make it seem more uh, <clears throat> room is filled up. So it's just not open space. I don't know. I just I don't really like the open space in The Sims. I don't know. I like to decorate, so I like to fill in things. So here I'm just placing some items on the wall, some objects around the house that I had missed and that needed to be placed in there earlier. And I do have screenshots at the end of this video, so I hope you guys have made it this far to stick around to watch the screenshots. I hope you guys enjoyed everything so far and I hope you guys will stick around for this uh, save file journey. With that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the video and have made it this far. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and as always have a wonderful morning, day, night, evening, wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Stay lit my fellow simmers. Bye!